Hey, Victor Marks here, and I wanted to do a, a quick update. Thanks, everyone, for praying. Um, we have been distributing Lion and Lambs um, to kids who have been affected by ISIS in Iraq, Kurdistan, different uh, different camps and locations. Uh, it's been fast and intense and beautiful to see the response of kids, and we'll be sharing videos and um, photos. It's, it's truly amazing and it's working because uh, these little lion and lamb stuffed toys are healing tools because they have music in them and uh, specific to this region and in their language prayers of hope talking uh, about how much God loves them and it's really uh, it's fuss and it really is just absolutely amazing so I want to thank all of you who have been part of this um, but this is uh, today it's brought us uh, long distance we actually went all the way up to Sinjar Mountain which many of you remember in the news when ISIS attacked um, roughly half a million people had to flee uh, thousands died um, have died as a result and then thousands have been women and kids have been held captive used as sex slaves and you know we've uh, done our part. God's allowed us to part helping facilitate, you know, some of them uh, getting help and recovery for their minds and, and, and returning. But um, so today we went as far, I think, as you can, at least in Iraq, and we came down the other side into Sinjar, the actual city. And it's, it's mind boggling how. How devastating everything has been, but um, because of this distance and uh, can't just go to a Holiday Inn <clears throat> out here, we accepted the invitation to have dinner and then uh, bunk out with uh, some friends of ours who are on the front lines. Uh, yep, so uh, I'm gonna bunker right now because uh, there's been intermittent shooting uh, from this position. Uh, and uh, I'm sleeping right behind the berm. Um, but where we are, this is about 300 meters out to 1,000 meters out, and uh, you can clearly see the position of their lights. And, and uh, But I'm in a bunker right now. So we're safe. We got prayers, we got angels, and uh, we got ammo. Um, but I'll tell you, people say, "Why do you do this? You don't, you don't, you don't, you and the team don't have to go out." And, and uh, no, we don't. And yet we think we would love to go to the other parts, the uttermost parts of the world, to reach even one child who's suffering, abused, and, and bring the hope. God's love because I'll tell you not more than probably three to five clicks there's uh there's children here not many uh, there's a few families that are uh, uh, trying to you know start again uh, but we were able to see an amazing playground built where an old playground was destroyed by just uh, and we're just talking us uh, the old one was just a slide, and um, you know, but, but what was put in by Reload Love, uh, the ministry based out of Albuquerque with the high six, is a beautiful, amazing playground, and we dedicated it. I mean, it's nuts. I was standing in a building that was partially collapsed, four stories concrete because of uh, airstrikes, because ISIS was using it. Just devastation everywhere, and then I look out, and here's a playground, and only God. Uh, can do that and it's put there by Christians to show the love of God and then we hand it out at the line of the Lamb so that's why we're here and, uh, and that's where it's put us so thank you for your prayers um, and I pray to God that uh, this video is shared because this is about as real as you can get and we do a lot of things that we can't share but tonight I decided to so God bless y'all and for those of you who are still naysayers, today we went out to a, uh, a mass grave. And uh, a couple of them, there were 67. 
those remains of 67 people. And, you know, and I've seen a lot. And, but today, what I saw, I uh, I brought, and this is what they use to bind up a kid's hand. And this is around that picked up off the ground that they used to shoot them. <laughs> it doesn't make what we do hard at all. <laughs> and I think Christians in America can do more. God bless y'all.